Good afternoon, traders, and welcome back to the Hot Stocks Outlook for March 1st, 2019. Hope you're all having an excellent week out there in the financial markets, and as always, plenty of great opportunities to cover. Uh, we're going to start here today with Palo Alto Networks. Uh, move on, we've got Reliance Steel, uh, Lockheed Martin, Nike, and also shares of Roku, which we actually took a look at at the early part of January, and we'll go ahead and get caught up there. But starting here with Palo Alto, uh, what we have here are daily bars. So each one of these bars that you see on against the uh, uh, price action here, this represents a full trading day. You can see this is going back to the early part of January. And against that price data, there's a couple values. There's a black line here and also a blue line. Now, against those daily bars and candles, that black line that you see, that is a actual or simple moving average. So very common technical indicator, easy to plot. And when you understand what it does, it's obvious that it just plots what has already occurred in a given market, essentially saying, okay, well, where has this market been? Uh, but we don't really know, we you know, want to know where the market's been. We want to know where the market's going, right? So what we want to compare that to is this blue value that you see on the chart. And for this value to be generated, Vantage Point is utilizing this technology of artificial intelligence, specifically neural networks, which are looking and analyzing and saying, okay, well, how are other markets affecting and driving and influencing the target market? In this case, Palo Alto. So that can be ETF groups, other tech stocks, the dollar index, NASDAQ, S&P. A lot of very important relationships are happening there. And what we're able to do is take that information and then generate predictive data that is then built into these indicators. So what we've done is created a predicted moving average. So what that's able to do is say, okay, well, where are prices expected to go moving forward? Now, in addition to using that predictive data and making a much better moving average, we've also got this indicator at the very bottom of the screen. Now, this is an extremely accurate neural index and it's a 48 hour indicator. So it's also derived using that neural network process, but only looking ahead two trading days at a time. So letting you know about short term strength or weakness in a given market, right? Lastly, you're given a predicted high and low range before each and every trading day. So literally before the trading day occurs, before 930 bell opens, you have all of this information and you know, okay, well, where do I wanna be putting limit orders in? Where do I wanna be adding to my position? And we can see how this works over the duration. And really the key here is the ability to be able to adapt that position because when you get into the market, you don't know what it's gonna look like two or three months later, but you wanna be making the most of it, right? So uh, we can see within vantage point saying, okay, well, now we should look to start buying. You get a little bit of volatility at the early here, but look how this market moves going forward. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 entries into this market. And pretty much as soon as those entries come through, you're in the money about a day later. Uh, over the duration here, this has been a fantastic opportunity with the market up 40% to the upside. And you see those multiple, almost a dozen opportunities where you can be adding that position. So adding to that 40% and really making the most uh, of these trades. So it's been a really fantastic couple of months here. We've been just getting along. I mean, every single hot stocks outlook is talking about these long opportunities. Uh, and the, the whole point here is to use these tools that even if you're getting in at the beginning of the move, or if you're getting in you know, just over the past couple of weeks, well, where do you wanna be buying? Well, at these predicted levels, use that as a guide to make better decisions, uh, whatever your trading strategy or your trading plan is here. Uh, Reliance Steel and Aluminum, same thing. So we have a crossover to the upside saying, look, the trend is up. Uh, Neural Index at times is gonna let you know really when, how I like to think of this, when it's more likely you're gonna trade below that predicted moving average, right? So if you have a average, you're gonna trade above and below it, right, to create that average. And when that neural index goes bearish, well, you're likely to see some trading below that predicted moving average, but use again that guidance from your vantage point predicted lows. And you again, see how this works out of buying at these predicted levels and understanding that, look, the trend is up. That predicted moving average is saying per average prices are expected to keep moving higher than the actual uh, simple moving average there and stay long the market. So really fantastic opportunity here in Reliance Steel uh, all over sectors doing very well. Uh, here, Reliance Steel and Aluminum, uh, materials uh, sector doing very good. Uh, Lockheed Martin, so defense, uh, Boeing, all, all of these things uh, trading very similarly, but 
individually having some different highs and lows and different levels that you want to be aware of. Uh, but here's Lockheed Martin. You get that crossover to the upside and just an absolute ton of separation uh, between that predicted moving average and the black line actual average, right? So saying, look, the trend is up. We want to be a buyer. Well, where do you want to come in and buy? Well, I think this is the first day you may get involved. Uh, and then immediately here saying, okay, well, keep buying this market. The trend is up. And you know, I love days like this where, you know, if you have a limit order waiting, you're going to get filled right at the bottom there uh, and immediately trade up to that predicted high. So as this couple months have rolled forward of January and February and these markets are moving up, the S&P's up, stocks are up, uh, you want to know, OK, well, where are those levels where it's appropriate to come in and look to be adding to a position? You see a 17 percent move to the upside here in Lockheed, but probably the more important factor of all this is, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 entries. Uh, and that market within two days is trading higher. So if you can deal with the volatility over a couple of days, trade off of these levels and make the most of that trading approach. Uh, here we go with Nike, crossover to the upside. Again, a lot of separation in some of these shares. Uh, but again, you want to use that guidance moving forward because, you know, when you get into the market here as a trend trade, maybe you don't know that, you know, what's going to be going on in the market, you know, towards the middle of February, right? And so those predicted highs and lows, that neural index is constantly forward looking. So you have those levels before each and every trading day to say, okay, well, over the next 48 hours, what are we looking at? Strength or weakness around this moving average? Uh, our intraday, are we at a predicted low? Meaning we're at the intraday, probably the best level you're going to see. Um, and what should you be doing? So cross over to the upside, just another market where you want to go ahead and get long. Uh, but where exactly in Nike? Well, you see, okay, well, here, 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 here. <laughs> so a good dozen entries, uh, and you see that within a couple of trading days, the trend continues higher. Uh, so as long as you can deal with that volatility, stay in the market, you've got some very nice opportunities. 20% move, but another 20 entries where you're making you know, 2 or 3% uh, on a nice daily move to the upside. Uh, lastly here, shares of Roku. So we took a look at this uh, around the 11th here. So we were looking at a lot of stocks that had started to reverse, uh, looking to uh, you know, start getting long. And this is a perfect example of, okay, well, you know, for the past two months that we haven't, you know, been looking at Roku here, well, how would you have been trading it? Well, use your predicted levels to decide, okay, well, I'll be a buyer at these predicted levels. Not a bad way to go. And you see that that's what's so great about utilizing tools like these predicted moving averages is you can get the really great entry uh, that gets you that position on and really makes it so that, you know, if these things start going wild, this market's up 120% in the past two months. Uh, and if we just look at really the past month of February here, where some of those uh, predicted low entries are coming in, another 60% move to the upside. Uh, so there's just been some fantastic opportunities all throughout the markets. And you really just have to have the right tools to understand, okay, well, for my time frame and my strategy, if the trend's still up, make sure you get long. If you're at predicted lows and you wanna be long that market, be buying at those levels, adding to that position, and really making the most of the trade management and really executing position sizing strategies uh, really at a whole nother level. So with all that covered, have a great rest of the trading week. Uh, once again, this has been our Hot Stocks Outlook for March 1st, 2019. Thanks again, and bye for now.